We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that in the Western United States, an increase in forest resilience is linked with a higher mortality risk for trees. Cloaks of brown and green huddle close to sustain shared lives and leaves, shifting in time to bend not break with the wind, Catching each blow to regulate, mature and grow, but western fronts bring harsher times, plagues of insects, heat and drought, that push and pull with rigid doubt, a final recoil to a stark, untimely end. This poem is inspired by recent research published in Global Change Biology, which has linked ecosystem resilience with forest mortality across the continental United States. Large-scale forest mortality events have been globally observed over the past few decades in response to a changing climate of severe droughts, heat waves, and outbreaks of pests and diseases. Likewise, forest resilience is a measure of adaptability. It focuses on retaining a forest's essential structure and composition to a range of stresses or complex disturbances. A forest's resilience, or ability to absorb environmental disturbances, has long been thought to be a boost for its odds of survival against such events. However, in this new study, for some forests in the western United States, a different relationship has been observed. By using more than three decades of satellite image data for assessing forest resilience, and comparing it to more than two decades of ground observations of forest tree death across the continental United States, the researchers have shown that while high ecosystem resilience correlates with low mortality in eastern forests, it is linked to high mortality in western regions. This unexpected resilience mortality relation could be driven by regional factors such as insect populations, resource competition and drier climates all of which are heavily influenced by climate change. Whatever the reason for this relationship, the findings have implications for future predictions of forest mortality events, especially in response to the ever-changing climate. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Cloaks of brown and green huddle close to sustain shared lives and leaves, shifting in time to bend, not break with the wind. Catching each blow to regulate, mature and grow, but western fronts bring harsher times. Plagues of insects, heat and drought that push and pull with rigid doubt. A final recoil to a stark, untimely end. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Eastern Forests by Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith is an American poet and novelist who was born in Moultrie, Georgia in 1947. He attended Phillips Exeter Academy and after serving in the Peace Corps in Micronesia, earned a BA from Duke University and an MFA from the University of Iowa. His numerous books of poetry include Red Roads, published in 1987, which was chosen for the National Poetry Series and received the Great Lakes New Poets Award. Smith has also written five New York Times notable books and has received grants from the Guggenheim Foundation, the National Endowment for the Arts 
and the New York Foundation for the Arts. He has also won the Levinson Prize from Poetry Magazine. Eastern Forests by Charlie Smith I've been walking in the eastern forests through everglades and hammocks into a mixed deciduous woodland where hummingbirds and woodpeckers cohabit in the downy hawthorn bushes and the pepper and salt skipper moth hunted by the white-eyed vireo and other creatures batters its way through broken branches of shortleaf pine and smooth sumac a senseless bug without what we call heart, though, as everyone knows, some intention, impervious to special pleading, propels this creature and the eastern black oak acorn weevil, among thousands of others, across vast reaches of transition, mixed deciduous and oak hickory forests, along with wood frogs and flying squirrels, like love does in our nomenclature, or rumours of gold. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.